So my compressor just died. It let a lot of blue smoke out. Um, it was still running, hadn't seized, but uh, not a good, not good. This compressor, I believe, was um, an Aldi unit. Uh, we bought it while we were in the UK. Oh goodness me, it could be ten years ago, and it was from a car boot sale, so it wasn't new then. So I don't really think you can say that it's done too badly. I do know the oil's low, which might have something to do with it, and it's put a lot, quite a bit of oil into the tank. Um, I mean, I checked the oil, I suppose three months ago, I must be, I would imagine. Um, and it was okay then. Anyway, RIP compressor. Um, I will top it up and see if I can make it fix it, but... Um, so I guess I'm looking for another compressor. Uh, this one's used mainly on my CO2 laser. So this is what I came home with. Uh, Sydney Tools, it was Sydney Tools opening day in Bundaberg here in Kensington. Um, a fantastic store, it's the biggest one in town now. We're not, we're not short of tool stores in Bundaberg, we've got uh, four to my knowledge. Um, not counting Bunnings. But anyway, this is a, a Lincoln LC S50, 50 litre tank. It's a, a quiet one. Comes with a regulator there and a small water trap. I burn it up and the difference in sound is that it makes is amazing. The old one, which I will see if I can get going and give you a sound example, says it's 96, hello dog, says it's 96 decibels. This one, I don't know what the decibel rating is. I do have a decibel meter, I'll put it on it, but it's like a, like a loud fridge really. It's, you can even have the TV on in the workshop <laughs> and hear the TV while this is running. I mean, that's just night and day difference. I've had silent compressors before, but I think I overused the last one. I won't mention the brand, but uh, it was sold by Bunnings. And when it came to uh, a warranty claim, they couldn't repair it. So hopefully this one's a much better experience. So, I've emptied the tank down to zero, as we see there, and I'll run it up to full and just check the sound level. Um, these little tubes here, I suppose, actually do make it that little bit quieter. So I think you can still hear me talking with that running and we're running at a, roughly a metre away at about 78 decibels. Between 74 and 74 and 78, but when the cars go by it makes it worse. I'll just run it until it's completed so you know how long the cycle takes from empty. Even the dog's not frightened of it. There we go. So I've topped this up with oil. Um, it didn't actually seize, it just threw out a load of blue smoke. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, got the distant laser there.
So there you go, it didn't. Does it smell? No, it doesn't, doesn't actually smell too bad. I didn't have quite enough oil to put it right up to the level. There was some in it, it wasn't like it was empty. Um, probably could do with an oil change. But whether I really rely on it now, and it's just too loud anyway, so I think it was time for a change. This is not the only compressor I've got. I'm counting the new one, I've now got um, five. So yeah, <laughs> not short of compressors. So I'll let you know how this one goes. Um, it was on special for City Tools for 349. That was an Australia-wide offer. Um, but in the store, as I say, it was Sydney Tools Kensington store opening day, and they offered a special where you effectively get 20% dis, well, 20% credit. So spending two 250 would give you uh, $50 credit, and this was 349. But when I came to claim my $50, they said that as this was already reduced by $50 nationally, I couldn't get my in-store $50 credit. But we'll see. I'll appeal that. I'll let you know how I go. Anyway, thanks for watching.